Now, Jesus Christ emptied himself. He went to the lowest rung of the ladder. We're talking about Christ's greatest sacrifice. He became a low life. For Jesus, he couldn't get any lower than this. You understand what I'm saying? We're talking about the greatest sacrifice. He went from being totally limitless to having incredible limitations, the five senses. He went from no boundaries to having to obey the law of gravity. He went from immortality to only lasting you know, a short little lifespan, 33 and a half years. He went from no pain, no suffering, to this physical body that hurt when that crown of thorns was jammed down on his head. And they stuck him with a spear. His body would hurt. It would bleed. He went from not limited by time to the short time that he spent on this earth. He went from boundless peace and happiness and joy to this, this physical existence. He went from boundless energy to a body that would wear out at the end of the day and get tired and needed to sleep. He went from traveling at the speed of thought to riding a camel. Can you imagine that? You know, when Jesus was in the flesh, there was the first time he got on a camel. And they're riding a camel, you know, and they're riding, and, and John, how long have we been on this camel? Well, we've been on it eight hours. How far have we gone? About three miles. Three miles. Here, here's a being that was able, in his glory days, was able to travel at the speed of thought. Now he's riding a camel. You know, do we understand why 1 John 2 and verse 15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Do we understand that? You know, and I, I don't know if we understand it or not. I mean, it's like, let me hang on to the lowest rung of the ladder as long as I possibly can. And I've often thought, what kept Christ going through the darkest moments you know, we, we have nothing to associate it with. I mean, we, we can't look back, you know. We can only look back at our physical existence. We can look back at when we were born. We can look back at our childhood experiences. Hopefully, you had some good ones. We can look at back at our love interests. Hopefully, you had a great one, you know, like I did. Uh, you can look back, you know, at, all you can do is look back at your physical existence. It's the only thing you can relate to. But Jesus could look back, and in the darkest moments, when his, blood, his sweat was like great drop, drops of blood, and he said, Father, if it's any way possible, take this cup from me, he could look back, and he could remember the glory days that he had with the Father. Immortality, power, the ability to create. Yes, he could look back to the glory days. What Christ did for us, he emptied himself of all of his glory, you know, he downs, let, let's downsize this. We know we supersize everything. Well, Jesus, he downsized it and went to the lowest rung of the ladder. And he did it all for you and for me.